Hi there, this is Intima, my name is Tonya, and this is grade 6, EQAO prep. We're meeting here weekly to do two questions each time. Today, we are taking up two questions, and one question has to do with the unit rate as well as converting meters into kilometers, or the other way around. And the second question that we're taking up is how to find the mean of a set of numbers. Let's start with this one. This question is a unit rate question. For every question that has to do with unit rate, we need to find something per one unit. In this case, we're given the distance of 800 meters in 10 minutes as a reference. We need to convert it into distance per one minute in order to proceed with the rest of the question. So let's find out how many meters she runs in one minute. 800 divided by 10. That is 80 meters per minute. 80 meters per minute is the rate at which she runs. Now we can convert meters into kilometers because the question is asking us to de determine how many kilometers she runs in 50 minutes. There are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So in order for me to go from 80 meters to kilometers, I need to divide 80 by 1,000. 80 divided by 1,000 gives me 0 0.08 kilometers per minute. So now I know how much or how many kilometers she runs per one minute. Then how many will she run in 50 minutes? I need to now multiply 50 by 0 0.08. 50 times 0 0.08 will give me 4 kilometers. 4 kilometers is the distance that she'll be able to cover in 50 minutes if she runs at 800 meters per 10 minutes. This question involves finding the mean. Mean is very important in our everyday lives. We use it all the time. Mean essentially is an average of something. You know how you calculate the average score of a player or the average grade that you receive at school. That's what it is. It is a mean. So in order for us to determine the mean of a set of numbers, we need to add up all of these numbers together and divide by their number, so the quantity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are, there are 7 numbers in this set, and the sum of the numbers is then divided by 7. Let's start that. So m equals 4 plus 8 plus 2 plus 10 plus 3 plus 2 plus 6 all over 7. If I add all of these numbers, I'll get 35. So 35 divided by 7. So what is the average number of this set? What is the mean? It's equal to 5. The correct answer is 5. Thanks for being with me again today. This is Into Math, and we have been doing our weekly Grade 6 Math EQAO practice. Not to miss any videos in this set, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and visit our website, www.intomath.org. See you next time!